Hey guys, Shimmer here, and today I am bringing you a guide on the Southern Elsewhere collectible achievement, Pieces of History. Upon completion of this achievement, you will be awarded with your very own Khajiit of the Moon's replica to display in your own home. I will be showing you where to find the pieces in order of efficiency, uh, so you're not running back and forth all over Southern Elsewhere. There will be time links in the about section below and in a pinned comment in the comment section below to each of the pieces should you only need to find specific ones. So now let's get started. First things first, you will need to pick up the quest. Head to Southern Elsewhere and you will need to either own the Dragonhold DLC or be an ESO Plus member in order to access this zone. We can find the quest inside the town of Senchal inside the palace. Once inside the palace, go to this location to find Bebia Sleekfur. She tells you of a priceless tapestry that was shredded by, by Alfiq, who ran off with all the pieces. She gives you the quest called Masterpieces, which has you go and find an Alfiq leader named Nizdo. His hideout is shown on the map. Travel there. And you will find Nisho dead, and near his body you will find a tapestry piece and his notes on where to find the other pieces, which, surprise surprise, is in the form of riddles. But have no fear, I will help you decipher these riddles and help you find these pieces. Now at this point you can either go back to the quest giver, turn in that part of the quest, and place the Nisho piece, or you can just go out and pick up the rest of the pieces and turn in and place them all at, all at once. That's up to you. But we are headed back to Senchal either way to start picking up pieces. The first piece is the Jaro's uh, tapestry scrap and it is located inside the town of Senchal, uh, right here. And it's near the Outlaw's Refuge. Just head up the scaffolding to the actual piece. Now once you get the Jaro's piece, just jump down and head over to the Outlaw's Refuge located here. And the Dancer's Tapestry plate piece is located inside. You're going to follow this path. Do it this way, and then up here, and then over this way. And you'll find the Tapestry piece behind the bar here. Grastia's tapestry piece is located right outside of Senchal, and here's its location. And it's right inside this tower. Cresta's tapestry uh, scrap is located on the west side of Senchal, at the tip of this uh, landmass here. Now you have to access it by going this way and drop off a ledge, and then you'll find this tree, and it's hanging on the end of this tree. Now we're going to head up north to Salise's piece, um, located here. And then you'll find it right behind this um, little rock here. Next, we're going to find Bufasa's tapestry piece, which is to the west of this uh, Salise's piece. So just find this area on the map. And you'll find it tacked to the wall here. Next, we're going to head over to this delve, the Forsaken Citadel, located here. And we're going to find the High Jar piece. Uh, there's a couple different maps in here. So you enter, and then you follow this path. And 
and in the next area you follow this path. And right in this building here is what we're looking for. Once inside the door, head up to the right. There's a set of stairs. Uh, there are some mobs here. I killed them. <laughs> so be wary. And right against the wall here, uh, you will find the Hydra piece. Next, we're going to head over to Kanarthi's Breath Temple Grounds, which is located here. And we're going to be going after the Amafi piece. Once inside, you're going to run all the way to the back here uh, and actually go inside the temple. It's hard not to get distracted by the cute kitties. <laughs> and once inside the temple, head to the right here and you will find the tapestry piece right there. Next, we're going to head into the Moonlit Cove Delve, located here. And we're going to be going after the Oranu piece. Once inside, you're going to follow this path. And you're going to see this waterfall. Walk through the waterfall to find a hidden room. And you'll find the piece right here. Not too far away from the Moonlit Cove, you're going to find this area right here. And we're going to be going into a tower to find the Pharaoh's uh, tapestry piece. And you will find it located right here. piece we're going after is the magpie piece and it is located all the way down here and climb this ladder and at the top you'll find the piece hanging out right here now we need to head back to Senchal and place all the pieces in the frame once you place the tapestry pieces into the frame, if you collected all the pieces, you will get the Pieces of History achievement and get the Khajiit of the Moon's replica. Congratulations! Alright, and here's the achievement if you want to take a look at it, or if you want to track your progress if you aren't quite done. And here's a preview of the piece. Um, you will find it under general and then display. It does take up a collectible spot in your home. I do think it's a lovely piece. Um, I, the, the story behind it was really fun. Um, I loved the little baby Khajiits or the little baby Afik. Those are my favorites. Uh, and that's it for this achievement. Let's take a look at it. Let's place it over here. It's pretty good. I like how they kept it all like separated, like they sewed it together. <laughs> and that's it for this achievement, guys. Thanks for watching. Um, now this was a um, this was a request from YouTube user Fredo Foosbear. Uh, sorry it was late, Fredo, uh, but I did get it out just like I said I would. And remember, guys, if there's something you would like me to cover or a video you would like me to make, drop it in the comments below or drop it in a comment of any of my videos. Um, I do read them all, and most of the time I do respond to all my comments. Um, if you make a suggestion, I'll do my best to get it out. I do love getting suggestions, and I love helping out the community where I can. Um, but that's it for now. Don't forget to like, and if it's your first time here, hit that sub button and click that bell icon to be notified when I have new videos go live. Y'all have a great day, and I will see you in Tamriel. Bye.